Now, President Trump's raucous rally last night in Montana. As William Brangham reports, it was a campaign-style speech from the president, filled with now familiar attacks on political targets and, and some false statements of note, all in an effort to rev up his base. The president was in Great Falls, Montana, to support the Senate bid of Republican Matt Rosendale. Rosendale is trying to unseat incumbent Democratic Senator John Tester. A vote for John Tester is a vote for Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and the new leader of the Democrat Party, Maxine Waters. In the hour-long speech, the president ran through many of his favorite topics, celebrating his moves on immigration, tax cuts, and jobs, and continuing to attack Obamacare and Hillary Clinton. But there were also the president's now regular exaggerations and falsehoods. He misstated his electoral win, U.S. energy exports, how he'd been cleared of collusion with Russia by Congress. In attacking Democrats on immigration, he again falsely implied that immigrants commit high levels of crime and are an economic drain on America. Studies show immigrants commit less crimes compared to native-born Americans. But that is not how the president frames it. The Democrats want open borders, which means lots of crime. We want tough, strong, powerful borders, and we want no crime. A vote for the Democrats in November is a vote to let MS-13 run wild in our communities, to let drugs pour into our cities, and to take jobs and benefits away from our hardworking Americans, and we're not letting it happen. The president also mocked the slogan for George H.W. Bush's effort to boost volunteerism. Like a thousand points of light. Yeah, the thousand points of light. What the hell was that, by the way? And he again went after Massachusetts Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren, a woman he repeatedly calls Pocahontas because she said she has Native American ancestry. Let's say I'm debating Pocahontas, right? I promise you I'll do this. I will take, you know those little kits they sell on television for $2? Learn your heritage. We will take that little kit and say, but we have to do it gently. Because we're in the Me Too generation, so we have to be very gentle. Rosendale's campaign hopes the president's visit will boost his chances in November. He's currently polling several points behind Tester. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm William Brangham. Late today, Jenna Hager Bush defended her grandfather's thousand points of light phrase to highlight community volunteer programs. She tweeted, a point of light was a vision about serving others, one that lit up our country, one I hope our country hasn't lost.